Namaste, motherfuckers. This is Praxis Prepper. Whenever you hear about a reasonably large disaster event, like a, a flood or a snowstorm, or something along those lines, one of the biggest dangers that people tend to face is from personal injuries that they inflict upon themselves trying to do the extra work that comes along with uh, trying to survive one of those situations. Whether it's throwing out your back from shoveling snow or, you know, the same with doing a bucket brigade, you know, spraining an elbow or a shoulder or, um, a, you know, a your ankle or something like that, carrying sandbags, or having a heart attack, um, you know, when you're, uh, why did I laugh during that? Well, I guess it's because it's more extreme than all the other ones. Um, there are all sorts of ways that people are, are injuring or hurting themselves during those events that they could avoid if they were in better shape and more flexible. And uh, while having an injury like that during a, like a small scale event, like, you know, like, again, like, you know, a flood or a snowstorm, where it's really only a matter of hours or maybe a couple of days before you can get some help, those sorts of injuries really aren't that big a deal. They hurt, they suck, you know, and all that, but you're probably not going to die from them unless you have that heart attack. Um, but during an extended crisis, an extended SHTF event, that shit ain't going to fly, man. You need to keep your body working and functional, and you can't be out of commission because there's shit that needs to get done, and you need to help do it. Uh, one of the great ways of preventing those types of injuries is keeping your body flexible and doing stretching routines. Now, uh, I'm going to talk today about yoga, as you saw in the title, because yoga is a weapon against injuries. You see, the title wasn't a lie, it was just highly misleading. Um, so we're going to talk about, a little bit about that today. Now, I am not a crazy yoga fan. I don't really enjoy it, but I find it really useful and effective for keeping myself flexible and reducing my injuries. Well, I try to do it before I do an exercise routine a little bit. Again, I re it's not fun. I, well, some people think it's fun. I don't find it fun. But as someone that doesn't find it fun, I should be an even better advocate for how important it is because I don't enjoy it, but it is really helpful. It's really effective. And, uh, and it keeps me going and it, it prevents me getting injuries when I'm, you know, doing work or doing, you know, working out or, or whatever. Now, today I want to go over a very simple routine that is just kind of like your basic bones. It'll, it'll just kind of get everything moving, uh, it, you know, all along your whole spinal cord. And that is, it's called the salute to the sun. Um, I kind of did it in the intro a little bit, but it was all chopped up. And I'm going to show you right now, right over here. And as I go through it, uh... Oftentimes, if I'm feeling a little stiff, I won't just plow right through the whole thing. Like, you'll, you'll see, I, I might do a move a couple times until it feels kind of, you know, I feel looser, and then I'll, I'll kind of move on to the next thing. Obviously, with any of these kind of things, you have to uh, judge your own personal abilities, you know, talk to your physician, they always say that, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, it, but, uh, you know, take some responsibility and figure out whether these things are going to work for you. Uh, but I'd, I'd encourage you to think about them and try them. And right here, I'm just going to do a really quick run of Salute to the Sun so you can just sort of see what it's about. Obviously, there's videos which pe with people much sexier than I am doing Salute to the Sun that you'd probably rather watch those. Uh, but I'll just run through it here so you can see, see how quick it is and, uh, and just get a sense of what I'm talking about. So the, the first posture in Salute to the Sun is getting your, your feet about shoulders width apart, just like this, and doing a nice stretch right up through here. I'm not going to go very far, but you want to kind of bend back as far as is comfortable, you know, just get, feel that stretch. And then we're going to go down and you want to have your arms really reaching and stretching as you go down, like you're making a big, big arc. And just kind of hang there. You don't have to touch your toes. If you can, that's great. But just kind of hang here and feel that stretch going on in your back. And then we're going to go down. And again, I'm not the world expert on yoga, but I find it helpful and I thought I'd share it with you. And we want to uh, just slowly go down like this. And now uh, I'm about to do what's kind of the most uh, repeated pose in the Salute to the Sun, and that's turning your body into a triangle. And we go just like that. And you want to have a nice straight line from your hands to your butt, and then your butt down to your feet. So you're making kind of a triangle shape with yourself. And try to get as close to that triangle as you can. As you can see, I'm not a perfect triangle, but I can feel the stretch. And then we're going to
go down, kind of rake our nose across the ground. Look up like this. I forget whether your feet go flat or which way they go, but you're kind of trying to look behind yourself. Look straight up, keep a straight line here. Feel that stretch. And then we're going to go back into this triangle again. Like I said, this is the pose you kind of hit the most. And then you're going to choose one of your feet. You launch your foot forward. And then we're going to go into this pose. I think this is called archer pose. And you're like this. And you want to have a straight line from your knee straight down to your heel. You see, I, I'm not perfectly straight here, you know. I'm not a perfect yoga instructor, but I, can, I still benefit from it. So we're like this. And then down. Back down to this pose. Back up to the triangle. Feel that stretch again. And then choose the other foot. I put the other foot forward. And you get your back foot parallel to the ground like that. And we push down into it like that. Again, don't force yourself. You know, this is something I do a lot. Do little baby steps. If you don't feel comfortable like this, be like this. So we're here. We go back into the triangle pose again. And then you want to do a little hop. A little gentle hop, not a bang. And then come up very slowly. And then arms go up. And then you make that cheesy stereotypical thing. And then you're supposed to say like namaste or some shit like that. So that's the deal. It's, uh, it's something, like I said, that I try to do a lot of times whenever I'm uh, about to do some work or a workout or something like that and uh, it just kind of gets your whole body sort of limbered up uh, for maximum effectiveness I, you know they usually say maybe you want to do that three times but do whatever feels, feels comfortable for you doing it a half a time is better than doing it not at all so start little little baby steps use your own judgment what you're ready for and uh, help to yourself to avoid injuries uh, if there was a shit hits fan event. Because like I said, if you get a sprain and you're out of commission, that could mean the difference between life and death in an SHDF event. So that's it. Consider it. Namaste. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.